Hey everyone, this is Andrew Ty. Welcome to my YouTube channel. Today I'm going to show you how to add a standard Apple AirTag into a Steam Deck. So the applications of this are pretty obvious. If you have a Steam Deck, you'll know that this is a portable device. You're going to be traveling with the Steam Deck and you're going to be putting it up and down all the time. And I actually lost a 512 gigabyte Steam Deck very recently. That was my spare second Steam Deck. And this was during a recent flight. So I'm not sure whether the Steam Deck was actually lost, misplaced, or potentially stolen. But rest assured, if I had actually had an air tag integrated into the Steam Deck, then I will know exactly where it is and I don't want that to happen again. There's in fact enough space within the Steam Deck casing to be able to fit the Apple air tag in and this is going to help us to locate this anytime in the future. So if you haven't subscribed already, then please consider subscribing and you'll be able to keep up to date with the latest tech tutorials. All we have to do is to make sure that our Steam Deck is turned off and we also have to take out the SD card as well. So this is a really important step. If you don't do this, then you could potentially damage your SD card permanently. So just make sure to put this to one side and then we can continue on to the next step and we can basically go ahead and flip over the Steam Deck. So we're gonna take off all of these screws from the back of the Steam Deck. So just be aware that these four corner screws are different lengths from the center four screws so make sure to put these into different locations so for example here I'm going to take off the center four screws so the center four are out I'm going to take out the four corner ones here So make sure to put these screws into different piles because the corner ones are longer than the shorter ones in the middle. So now that the screws are off, we're going to use a plastic spudger or you can use something like a credit card or a guitar pick. Anything non-marking and plastic would be ideal. So what we're going to do basically is to insert the plastic spudger into this line here. There's some plastic clips inside that we want to separate. So basically what I like to do is to start with this part here and basically separate where there's a little gap with the controller and then basically work our way around and then separate the clips here. So I've kind of gone underneath and I've separated some clips here and uh, you can see this separation now. And this controller side here, we're gonna start from the clip here and then try to get our plastic in between. So you can see that it's separated here now. And once you've got enough clips open, then this will basically open up. Just need to get this one a bit done here. And now the entire back plate is removed. So if you actually look inside the Steam Deck, there's actually a pretty big gap where the actual kind of grip handles are where there isn't actually anything happening here. So this is an ideal place to actually place the Steam Tag itself. What you might want to do, but it's not completely necessary, is you might want to electrically tape the bottom of this so that there isn't any kind of metal exposed because if metal touches the inside of the case, then this could potentially short your device. You can just alleviate that by using a little bit of electrical tape. Let's cover up the metal part of the AirTag. So basically you want to place the AirTag white plastic down like so, and you want to put it on this kind of white corner here. You don't want any of these buttons exposed, which are going to be the grip buttons here. And then basically you just pop this down again and then fix this case into place. And I haven't screwed anything yet, but basically there is no give. Um, the air tag itself doesn't move at all. And then what I'm going to do now is to screw back all of my screws. So we're going to put our SD card back in and we're going to switch on the Steam Deck. So basically the way the check is is that we're going to open up the Find My iPhone app and what we can do now is press play sound. And I can hear the air tag in here. You can also see that it can locate it by distance. So this means that I'm never going to lose my Steam Deck again. If somebody decided to steal it, then I could always track it with my AirTag. So we can also see whether this interferes with the back pedals too. So I'm actually pressing R4, R5 here, and I can't really feel a difference. We can test our device inputs, and I can press the 
rear trigger buttons there, and those are all registering correctly. So this is a really good way to make sure that your device is always trackable, it's an anti-theft measure, and hopefully I'm not gonna lose this Steam Deck in the future. Anyway, I hope you found this video useful. I've got lots of other videos like this on my YouTube channel, so please check it out. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.